Hey, hello, welcome back. So we are still continuing the topic of um, dynamics of rigid bodies. So I have a very short point on kinetic energy for this video, and then we continue with the rest. I couldn't find another place to put this video. So I need to do this so I can scroll down and then delete that. All right, so let's um, consider another rigid body as always. I have my um, kidney bean or follow bean or whatever. And if I have the center of mass, it moves with some speed VC, center of mass, or C, center of mass. center of mass, and the body is also rotating some, with some angular velocity omega, doesn't matter. So in this case, the, um, I don't know exactly how to pronounce this, Koenig, Koenig theorem. Uh, I have changed my my the way I sit now I'm standing, it feels a little weird. Anyways, so this Koenig theorem says that the total kinetic energy of the body of the rigid body moving in in that particular way is the sum of kinetic energy to do to translation plus kinetic energy due to rotation. What did I write? Rotation. This one is something we always had. So T rot oops, T translation is one half total mass of the body, the speed of center of mass squared. And the translational one, T, I'm sorry, rotational one is one half omega times I, omega transpose times I times omega. And this is the same matrix and um, notation, essentially an equivalent of I omega squared. And this I is about center of mass. So this is the kinetic energy of a rigid body, the, com uh, the addition of the translational kinetic energy of the center of mass plus the rotational um, kinetic energy. Also another case that shows up often is when I have the body and one point on the body is fixed, let's call it point O, and now the body rotates somehow with some rotate angular velocity omega about that fixed point. In this case, T is one half omega transpose. Now I about point O times omega. Similar to the case we had before and it was uh, moment of inertia about a fixed point times the um, angular velocity squared. So that is kinetic energy. I thought I need to just show them to you ex explicitly. And yeah, that, that's all I have for this part. I'll continue next with some more details about moment of inertia.